Okay, guys. So instead of using um, a intro, vi like a touch up video in the end, we're just gonna paint it now. So what we did for this um, back thing, so we don't get paint all over the nice tablecloth, we just took some. We just she just took a paper bag. Aunt Vicky just took a paper bag and cut it open, and then taped it down. So the three colors we're going to use, we're going to use um, this like nice orange. That's going to kind of be the middle color. The brown. I like a deep forest green. So we're going to use those colors. Most of it's going to be brown and a little bit of orange and just a teeny bit of green. It's going to be like all brown or orange speck, like with orange going up and then like green down in the middle. Okay, so that's the plan. So we're just going to use yogurt cups. So here. We have to paint in them. And just and to see like these big bulky things, what we're going to do to cover that is we're going to when this is dried, we're going to take these four leaves and glue them on. So now let's take the brown start painting. So on this end or in the middle? Um it's it's just gonna go all the way out. All of it brown? All of it brown. We're just gonna go, kind of paint the whole thing. I want to wet your brush a little bit. That'll help it spread. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to kind of paint this whole thing. good as painting his own figure. She's almost done with one wing. <laughs> Not even halfway. <laughs> okay, this is a lot harder than I can imagine. I'm just getting the brush nice and wet before. Okay. Okay, there we go. We're almost caught up, not really. So, oh yeah, that does help spread. So yeah, most of it's going to be brown. So we're almost halfway done. Just have an idea to wet the whole thing first, and then and then paint it on. Okay. I think that's gonna help a little bit. Okay. <coughs> and we are gonna have to paint both sides. And just so you know guys, one technique you don't have to do if you don't want to paint this is if you get like stockings instead of what we use, like little pantyhose, or if you got stockings instead and just kind of um, paint and kind of worked with that, like laced stockings, that, that would look a lot nicer. But you guys can do whatever you want. I'm just saying like if you don't want to worry about painting the whole thing, you can just use lace stocks, stockings. Well, dabbing, dabbing it makes it a little easier. There's one of the smaller parts that you can't really... Wow, you're already done with two and I just been just barely finished my first one. We can paint, and we can both paint the second one. I can't really reach it. <laughs> Flip it over. Here, like this. Yep. <laughs> it looks like a little helicopter, kind of. Not really. It kind of did. Let's get this in a little damp. Okay, and then we'll take your brown paint. Hmm. 
Brown's getting a little liquid. Should we add some more? Into the cup? Yeah, well, before we paint the other side. We have enough to finish this side, I think. Yep, we only have one lane, so. So, this is looking a lot better than I imagined it would in my head. Same thing with the crown. Well, the same, it's really the same thing I said when doing the crown videos. Sorry. So this is looking very really nice. to add some more in because then we're going to flip this over and do the other side because we don't want like either the f only the front or only the back showing because that would not be as cool so we're going to do both sides okay i'm going to go dilute the paint with a little bit of water okay so we'll just kind of dab on what's left Cute stuck ever. Hey, Angel. <laughs> this dog is a total attention hog. Oh, my poor Taylor back there never gets any. Oh, good boy. <laughs> I'm going to flip it over. This one probably won't be as hard. <laughs> because a lot of it's already brown. And it's already pretty wet from the other side, so we don't have to worry about damping it, I don't think. Damping the wing itself. Okay, so we're covering it with paint. I'm thinking we should probably sit it outside in the sun to dry for a little bit before we add any other colors. Yeah. Because we don't want the colors to bleed really bad because that wouldn't look as nice. So what do you do with all of the stuff you make? Um, when you're done, when you're done making it, like, what do you do with all of it? Well, a lot of it's costume stuff that I wear, or I sell it, give it away as gifts. Sometimes I never finish it. <laughs> Just sits there for an eternity. <laughs> Unfinished projects. You should have like a whole entire box to like oh, do me. in your free time. I do, but what you should do is that like. Like, like if I were to get my art studio and you have a bunch of projects you're probably never gonna finish, you should, you sh we should do kind of like a little craft game where we like, if I get my art studio, we can like, like kind of do like a contest where um, we start out with something simple and um, like one of us so starts out with something simple and mails it to another and then it just keeps going and going and we keep getting harder and harder. Mm -hmm. We just keep kind of mailing it to each other, like mailing the thing we made to each other. I don't think we need to mail it, you just live down the street. I know. <laughs> but like later we're going to move closer to the city, like right after school ends. A couple of months. Oh, this part's going to be hard, see all the wrinkles. We should cover that part with glitter. Glittery! Yeah. What I'm thinking about is just taking like a light coat of glitter and covering all of the, mm -hmm. all of the wings. Or maybe we should just instead of like on the paint we do for the vines, we should also add glue or something and add glitter to the veins. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different ways we can do that. Yes. So one more wing. Then we're gonna have to take a break while it dries. Yeah. 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 Thank you. 
paint this last one. So these rings are already looking really nice. If I was lazy, I'd just keep it like this. <laughs> but I'm that kind of person who who needs it to be cooler if it's one of those things where we have time. Oh, I'm all jiggly. <laughs> it feels so weird. It's like... Like, all of the extra, like, fat on my arm is just, like, jiggling when I do this, and it feels so weird. I kind of like it, but it feels weird. You know these really cool things I think you could you should you could be able to do? Mm -hmm. I'll show you the video while waiting. It's a um it's for um making they're like fairy ear like fairy ear cuffs. Mm -hmm. Ear cuffs are like earrings except better because yeah, you don't have to poke holes in them. Yeah, out of wire. They're wire ones. Yeah, and there's yeah. like these really cool ones, these there's fairy some, ear cuffs. Some of the feathers on them? Have you seen those? Oh um, no, but like there's really these cool. really cool fairy ear cuffs that mm -hmm. um I want to show you the video because I'm pretty sure you could you could probably be able to do it because knowing you, it's probably making one. I don't know where it is. But. Where is it? Where is it? Like like they're really cool. They're like um, ear cuffs that make you look like they have all these feathers. Cool. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, Okay, acrylic paint. So just so you know, we are using acrylic paint for this. Like, if you guys want to know what kind of paint we're using. Oh, wow. You can have it if you want. It's very soft. You have to bend it gently, but... It's nice. <coughs> can I show it on the camera? Sure. Ooh, this ear cuff. Fancy. It's a bracelet. Oh. For some reason I thought it was an ear cuff. That's what I meant to say, bracelet. It's nice. Well, I was looking for an ear cuff. <laughs> it's white. Yeah. This is fancy. We were talking about ear cuffs, so I accidentally said ear cuffs. Well, it's looking pretty good. I think in the middle part we can cover up the leaves and flowers and stuff. Yeah. Just get just in case. So. so yeah, just so you know, we are gonna do like this big bouquet of flowers right here. It'll look really cool. Okay. So now we should set it out in the sun. So this is what it looks like so far. I am going to stop the video and like spend the time showing Aunt Vicky a really cool ear cuff thing and. They're really cool. They make like your ears look like they're part fair, like like yeah, pointy L4 fairy ears. Okay, well, that's our the end of this um this video for, for painting for Slayer. Like we're going to do the other two layers afterwards. Peace.